Hi, my name is David Precision, founder of Diogo With Me. This class targets the upper back and the shoulders. And you'll need a strap, like this one. You can also use a tie, a belt, or a rope. All of those things will work just fine. Enjoy. Let's lie on our backs together for a couple minutes to start the class. So the moment you're lying down, I want you to feel the weight of your body on the ground. And I'm going to take you through a quick scan of the body. So rest your arms on the ground as well. And bring your full attention to the bottoms of your feet. Start to allow the mind to focus and just feel the sensations on the bottom of your feet. And now feel your toes. And the tops of the feet. And so no expectations. Just feeling sensations. To the ankles. No judgment. Not wanting anything to be different than it is right now. Feel your calves. And your shins. And the knees. Allowing the mind to become quiet and peaceful. Feel the front of your thighs. And the back of the thighs. the front of the pelvis, and the back of the pelvis, allowing your nervous system to calm down and the body to relax. Feel your belly. And your lower back. Feel your upper back and your chest. And your mind starts to go to these places without effort, as though it wants to be there. Feel your shoulders. and your upper arms. Your elbows. And your forearms. Allowing the mind to be very quiet. And the body to relax. Feel your hands. fingers, your neck, your face, your head. Now feel the arms as one sensation together. Feel your legs as one sensation together. And feeling all sense of urgency dissolve away. There's no need to be anywhere else no need to be doing anything else right now. 
and feel your entire body as one sensation. As the nervous system calms down and the mind becomes quiet. Now staying with this new focus, I want you to lift your knees one by one and hug them into your chest. And then roll onto your side and push yourself up onto your hands and knees. And place your hands below your shoulders. Place your knees below your hips. Spread out your fingers really wide so you have lots of space between them. And then take a breath in with me. And when you exhale, press your back up. Tuck the tailbone under and tuck your chin into your chest, rounding the spine up. When you breathe in, do the opposite. The spine drops, the tailbone lifts, and the top of the head reaches for the sky or the ceiling. Let's do that again. Exhale, press the back up, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, the spine drop, lift the tailbone, lift. One more time, exhale. And inhale. Good, now come to a neutral back. And now walk your hands forward, a foot or even two feet. And give yourself a really good stretch. I want you to keep the fingers spread. Press the pads of the fingers into the floor so the hands are active. And then let the chest drop. Lift your elbows. Reach through the fingers. As the chest sinks, your hips can press in the opposite direction. Keep those elbows lifting so the arms are straightening. Nice and long. And then you can even rest the head down on the ground if it reaches. Stay here for two more breaths. Keep that active feeling in the arms, but allow the release to happen at the same time in the shoulders and the upper back, in the chest. Okay, and then come back up. Place your hands under the shoulders. And then I'm gonna sit back on my heels. And you can too, if that's uncomfortable, you can also sit cross-legged. Grab your strap and you wanna fold it in half just like that. Place your hands about shoulder width apart and raise the arms straight up so those knuckles are facing the sky or the ceiling. Drop the shoulders down, reach up through the elbows, and then start to press your hands back. But do it in a way that you're not allowing the torso to tilt. Shift your rib cage back. Reach up through the knuckles again to straighten those elbows and shift the hands back and keep the rib cage shifting so you're not tilting. Now start to pull the hands apart, creating tension in the strap. And as you're doing that, with the hands pressing back, the rib cage tucking in, start lowering the hands. And keep the tension, hands pulling apart, hands pressing back, rib cage tilting in, and lower, 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 nice and slow. Eventually the strap will go right behind the head, elbows pressing back, Rib cage still pressing back. Your arms might shake, and that's great. And once you've gone as far down as you can go, bounce it right back up until your arms are straight again. Take your time, though. There's no rush, no hurry. So eventually, those arms fully straighten out. Keep pulling the hands apart as you reach up through the knuckles so the elbows straighten. Take a breath in here, see if the hands can shift back a little bit more. And then when you exhale, side bend to your right. Reach up through the left knuckles as the left sitting bone anchors. Take a breath in, come up, and exhale over to the left. Arch over, lift up and arch, like the spine is lengthening as you're bending. Reach through the knuckles, stretching the right side. Inhale up to center. And do that again. Exhale over to the right. Root the left sitting bone. Press up through the left knuckles. Inhale up to center. 
and exhale to the left, root the right hip, reach up through the right knuckles. Inhale up to center. Now bring the hands another foot apart. Drop the elbows down to shoulder height. Now all I want you to do is two things. Elbows come forward and the hands press back. Now make sure that you don't bring too much stiffness in your shoulders and your neck. And also that again, you don't tilt the rib cage. So you're shifting the rib cage back. It's like you're tucking in the sternum. Shoulders relax down and the hands press back as the elbows press forward. Let's hold this. And again, your shoulders might start shaking here. One more breath. Okay, now take a breath in with me. Big breath in. Now when you exhale, keep pressing the hands back and re-straighten out those arms. Keep shifting the rib cage back as you do. Nice and slow. Hands press back, elbows are straightening out. Hands press back, the elbows are straightening out. The rib cage, the sternum is tucking in until eventually the elbows are straight. And remember, try to soften the shoulders so you don't want stiffness in the shoulders and neck. You want to balance between effort and release. So the arms are reaching up and now press the hands back. Find that stretch and allow the muscle to stretch wherever you're feeling it. Lengthen, press back, allow the release to happen. The sternum tucks in so those core muscles are always on. Okay, let's lower the hands down. Nice work. Place the strap off to the side. Give your shoulders two big circles. And then step forward onto your hands. Take a breath in here with the hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. And when you exhale, press the back up. Angry cat, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, round the spine down, lift the head, lift the tailbone. One more time. Exhale. Inhale. Okay, neutralize the spine. Walk your hands a foot or even further forward. Spread the fingers. Press the pads of the fingers into the floor. Lift the elbows and let the chest and the head drop. Create traction here. So you're reaching into the pads of the fingers. As the chest sinks, you can drop the head, lift the elbows, and reach your hips for your heels to create that, that pull in the shoulders, chest, upper back. One more breath. Okay, now this time I want you to lift your head and drop the elbows down to your mat. And then bring the elbows right together. If you can, get them to touch right under your nose. Palms are together. And then lower the chest again. Eventually you can even rest the head on your arms. The hands will most likely come off the mat and then you can sink. Let the chest sink. Soften the shoulders, soften the chest. And you can also focus on softening other parts of your body, like your legs, your hips, your face, allowing the body to release into this stretch. One more breath. Okay, make your way up. Place the hands below your shoulders. And we'll sit back on the heels. Or of course you can sit cross-legged and we'll grab that strap again. This time you want the strap at its fullest length. Hopefully you can get it to be wider than your shoulders, about three feet apart. The arms lift. And then just let the hands fall back this time. If you need the hands to be wider, go ahead and do that. Again, lengthening through the elbow, so you want those arms to be straight. And then add a little bit of strength, pushing the, the knuckles back behind you. And notice where you're feeling the stretch. Allow those muscles to soften. And again, watch your rib cage. So the sternum tucks in a little bit, so those core muscles are on. Just keep
keeping that core active. Let's hold this for one more breath. You might feel some shaking here too. And these are fantastic stretches to do to encourage the spine to release into a chest opener, which is what we want to release the upper back and the shoulders. Now lower your left hand behind you, right behind the pelvis, and then straighten up your right arm. You might need to slide the hands apart on the strap. And then lengthen up that top arm through the elbow, reaching the knuckles up. And then pull the strap down with your left hand. Effort and release. So you're encouraging the muscle that's being stretched to release as you are lengthening out the joints and holding the stretch, tucking the sternum in to keep the core on and breathing. One more breath here. Okay, let's switch the arms. Left arm comes up, the right arm goes back now. Straighten up that left arm, reach the knuckles up, and then pull the strap down with your right hand. Again, focusing on allowing the release to happen. Core muscles on, pulling that arm back as you straighten out the elbow. Okay, let's bring the right arm back up. Now I want you to press the hands back one more time. They might be able to go back a little bit further. Straighten out the elbows and now lift your heart. Find a back bend in the upper chest. It's like you want the spine in the upper back between the shoulder blades to lift forward as the shoulder blades come together and down. Reach through the knuckles and then look up to complete that back bend. Stretch, stretch, stretch. One more breath. And then look forward. Place the strap off to the side. Come forward onto your hands. If you were sitting on your heels, you might want to give your ankles a couple circles. Spread out your fingers. Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Exhale, round the spine up. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the head, lift your tailbone, let the spine droop. One more time, exhale. And feel where your spine is tight and allow those areas to release, especially the upper back when you're rounding down. Let the spine sink between the shoulder blades as the top of the head lifts up. Okay, now look down at the fingers, find a neutral back. Walk your hands forward again. Press the pads of the fingers into the ground, lift your elbows, let the chest drop. So the elbows stay lifting as the forehead rests down. If it reaches and the hips press back to increase the traction in the shoulders. One more breath, allow that release, that beautiful release to happen. Now lift the head. Lower the elbows down like you did last time. Bring your right elbow underneath your chin. And then cross your left arm over top and bring the elbow to stack on the right elbow. Or if you can, drop the elbow right down to the ground on the other side. And then from there, if you can do it, grab your thumbs or bring your palms right together. And wherever you are, rock your body from side to side. Allow the chest to sink. And allow the shoulders to release. Okay, let's switch sides. So release the hands. Bring that right arm out. And start with the left arm underneath your chin and cross the right arm over top. So once again, you can do this in stages. If the first stage is what works for you, just stay there. Stay like this or drop the elbow down or clasp the thumbs or clasp the palms. 
Wherever you are, let the weight of the body sink so the chest feels like it's dropping and then rock your body from side to side. Okay. Release the hands, come out of the stretch and return the forearms to the ground. Elbows and the hands are the same distance apart now. So the forearms are parallel. Palms are down, the fingers are spread just like we had, they were before. Finding space between your fingers. Now press the pads of the fingers into the floor. Press the elbows into the floor. Walk your knees back about a foot. Tuck your toes. And let's lift up into dolphin pose. So it's like downward dog on your forearms. Press the elbows into the floor. Keep the pads of the fingers active. And now let's lift the hips. Now press your elbows away from you. Press the rib cage towards your toes and press the heels towards the floor. So the elbows and the rib cage are moving in opposite directions. Hips are shifting back and the elbows are pressing away from the feet. Find length in the spine as the tailbone lifts. Let's hold this for one more breath. This is another fantastic stretch for the upper back and the shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna transition into plank on the forearms. So I want you to bring your shoulders over your elbows and then walk the feet back enough so that you can straighten out your whole body. Shoulders over the elbows. Now you're looking at the thumbs. The neck is nice and long, thighs are lifting. And now lower the knees, sphinx pose. Thighs drop, the toes point, the shoulders come back, and we lift the top of the head towards the sky. And feel the arch in the upper back here, so the spine shifting forward between the shoulder blades as the heart lifts, and it's like the back of the head wants to touch your heels. Okay, look down at the thumbs. Tuck your toes, lift up to plank. One more time, back to dolphin pose. Walk your feet forward, press the elbows away from you, shift the hips back. So the elbows and the rib cage are pressing in opposite directions. And you can let the head hang, heels pressing towards the floor. Let's lower the knees and either sit on your heels or sit cross-legged. Give your shoulders a big circle and now place the palms on the back of the head, fingers interlinked, and press the elbows back. Now you want to start engaging those upper back muscles so you start to feel the uh, shoulder blades come together. The elbows press back and now press the back of the head into the hands and start to find that upper back bend again. So the spine shifting forward, the heart reaching up, elbows pressing back. You can look up. Let's take two more breaths here. Now when you breathe in next, lift the heart a little bit more. And now when you exhale, do the opposite. The head drops, elbows come forward, the spine rounds back. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift the heart, press the elbows back. Beautiful. Chest opener. Exhale, spine rounds back, the chin drops to the chest. Inhale, lift, elbows press back. Now this time, I want you to flip the palms to face the ceiling or the sky, and then press the palms up. Now make sure that your elbows straighten. Shift the hands back, and again, shift the rib cage back so you're not tilting. Now reach up through the palms. Let's take a breath in together. See if the hands can reach back a little bit further. And then exhale, side bend to your right. Root the left hip, press up through the left palm, lifting and arching as you inhale. Come up to center. Exhale over to the left. Root the right hip, press up through the right palm. Hold for a breath. And then come back up. Now lower the arms to shoulder height. Face the palms away from you. Press through the palms. 
Now I want you to focus on making the arms as long as you possibly can. It's like you want to energize them in a way that lengthens the bones, creates space in the joints, as the palms are as far apart as you possibly can get them. And now straighten out every finger and pull the ends of the fingers towards your ears. This is a fantastic stretch for the shoulders and the wrists and the hands, the fingers. Now cross the right arm on top of the left, elbow on, the, on top of elbow. And then just like you did when we were stacking them on the floor, see if you can grab a finger and a thumb. See if you can bring the palms together. Or you can just face the backs of the hands towards each other and raise the arms up. Shift the elbows a little bit to your left to increase the stretch. Now let's take a breath in together and raise the fingertips higher. Now we're going to come forward as though we're doing child's pose. Come forward. Lower the elbows down and now hop them forward as far as they can go away from your knees. And then let everything sink. You can even rest your head on your arms. Let the hands drop. Let the hips sink back into your heels. If you're sitting cross-legged, then you'll do some other version of this. If you're sitting cross-legged, then you'll do a similar version of this, just allowing the body to sink forward. Now, lift the arms, come back up. Unravel the arms and return with the palms facing away. Flex the fingers back, press through the palms, make the arms as long as you can. Stretch out every joint of the fingers. And then cross left arm on top of right. And do whatever you can, backs of the hands facing each other, grab a finger, palms together, raise the arms up, take a breath in. You can even shift the elbows a little bit to the right now. And exhale, come forward. Rest the arms on the ground and then hop them forward as far away from the knees as you can and let the body sink. Rest your head, relax your shoulders, relax your face, let the the hands sink. And then slide the elbows in, come back up. I'll stretch the arms out to the sides and now connect the palms behind you, interlink the fingers. Take a breath in, lift the hands and the heart together, stretch those elbows straight and now come back into child's pose or just dropping the head forward if you're cross-legged. Now lower the head down right to the ground if you can. And if you're sitting on your heels, you can also lift your hips off the heels so you come onto the crown of the head. And now lift those hands as high as you can. Reach them up, straighten the elbows, and press the hands towards the floor behind your head. Give those arms a good stretch. And now lower the hips back down. Sit back on your heels, place the hands on your lower back, and then slide the hands across to the right side, as far forward as you can up on that hip bone. And now press the shoulders back and the elbows towards each other, especially the left side. Bring that shoulder back and the elbows close to the right elbow as you can. You get a wonderful stretch on that left side. Good, and now slide the hands across the lower back. Bring them around the left side, press the knuckles forward, as far forward as you can, shoulders back, elbows towards each other, and exaggerate the right elbow going across to the left elbow. Okay, and now slide the hands back, straighten your arms, take a breath in, lift the heart and the hands at the same time. Exhale, come forward again. So if you're on your heels, you can lower the head down, come onto the crown of the head as you lift the hips off the heels and raise the hands as high as you can. Press them as though you want to touch them to the floor behind your head and straighten those elbows. And make sure you don't have very much weight on the top of your head. You want to have very light weight, most of the weight on your knees. And lower the hips. Let the hands drop, lift the head, give your shoulders two big circles. 
Come forward onto the hands and the knees. Roll out your ankles a couple of times. And then lie on your back. Make yourself comfortable. Rest your arms along your sides. And find that restful state that we started class with. So immediately, you're letting everything release. And now let's scan through the body from top to bottom, just as we did before, starting with the head. So you're feeling the scalp, temples, the forehead, right around to the base of the skull at the back. And then to the face, and to the neck, to the shoulders, upper arms, elbows, forearms, to the hands. the fingers, upper back, allowing the mind to calm down and become quiet, to the chest, allowing your body to relax into this final relaxation, to the belly, Simply feeling sensations to the lower back, back of the pelvis, front of the pelvis, nervous system calming down, front of the thighs. back of the thighs, the knees, the calves, sinking into a deep state of rest, the shins, the top of the feet. the bottom of the feet. The toes. Now feel the legs as one sensation. Feel the arms as one sensation. Feel the whole body as one sensation. And allow yourself to sink into that familiar state just before sleep. Where you know you're drifting. And it feels so good to drift to that place. Your body craves it. Allow yourself to let go. And allow your whole body to rest.
let's slowly make our way out of Shavasana. You can start to move your fingers and toes. Bring the knees into the chest. And roll onto your side. You can rest here for a moment with your head on your bottom arm. And when you're ready, you can press right up to a seated position. Cross your legs. And bring your palms together. And so maintaining that feeling of ease in your body and noticing how wonderfully open you are across your upper back and your chest and how you can feel that in your heart, the energy of your spine, how wonderful it feels to be able to sit up tall. And the gratitude that we all have when we practice yoga on our own or with others. And thank you for joining me today. Namaste.